A new study finds that 300,000 U.S. troops who served in Iraq and Afghanistan are suffering from major depression or post-traumatic stress disorder. And it also finds that 320,000 have brain injuries. The Pentagon's official number doesn't include the many who have returned home with invisible wounds. Here's ABC's Bob Woodruff. Veterans groups called it a frightening trend, a wake-up call to the nation. Our system is already stressed, and we haven't really even seen uh, the worst of what's to come. After nearly seven years of war, the study reveals a staggering toll on the mental health of American forces. Of the troops surveyed, one in five reported symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder or major depression. And due to widespread exposure to roadside bombs, nearly 20 percent report having experienced a probable traumatic brain injury ranging from mild concussions to severe brain trauma. It was very upsetting. Michael Zakea fought with the Marine Corps in Fallujah after being diagnosed with PTSD. He says he was ostracized. I think that uh, there's a belief that if a person has PTSD, they're not trustworthy in combat. So nobody wants to admit they've got it? Right. Yes. While the military has made progress reducing that stigma... Out to the side. ...and has stepped up mental health screening, the study shows many troubled warriors still falling through the cracks. Almost half of those who report symptoms of PTSD or depression have not sought treatment in the last year. And 57% of those who report a probable TBI have not been evaluated by a physician for brain injury. Our culture is, is so uh, towards performance that we think we can shake it off. We, if we uh, toughen up, we can get by it. What's needed now is a dramatic expansion in mental health care for returning troops. An expansion, the report says, already several years overdue. The question is, are we going to respond or are we going to put our head in the dirt and, and hope it will blow over? The authors of this report estimate it will cost between 4 and $7 billion to take care of all these so-called invisible injuries of this war. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, New York.